Welcome back to the Taxtron support channel. In today's tutorial, we are going to walk through how to fill out the TL2 form on Taxtron web. The TL2 form allows transport employees to deduct certain travel expenses incurred while on the job. These could be long-haul truck drivers, bus drivers, railway conductors, airline pilots, and others in the transport industry. To fill out the form, you'll need details such as the number of trips you made during the year, the length of your trips, details on your expenses for meals, lodging, and showers. To make this clearer, let's walk through a real-life example of how you would fill out the TL2 form based on your trips and expenses. In our first scenario, let's take the example of Robert, a long-haul truck driver for a transportation company who took multiple trips in 2023. He completed the following trips. Trip 1, Toronto, Ontario to Calgary, Alberta. Duration, 5 days, leaving on April 1st and returning on April 5th. Meals, 15 meals, 3 meals per day for 5 days. Meal cost, $345, 15 meals times $23 per meal using the simplified method. Lodging, $600 for 4 nights, 4 nights times $150 per night. Showers, $36, 3 showers at $12 each. Trip 2, Toronto, Ontario to New York City, USA. Duration, 4 days, leaving on July 12th and returning on July 15th. Meals, 12 meals, 3 meals per day for 4 days. Meal cost, $276, 12 meals times $23 per meal using the simplified method. Lodging, $450 for 3 nights, 3 nights times $150 per night in the U.S. Showers, $30, 3 showers at $10 each in the U.S. First, log into Taxtron Web and navigate to your tax return. Go to the T1 Clients section and either select an existing client or create a new return. Ensure the Personal Information section under Identification is completed accurately, then click Next. Next, we will report the T4 for Robert, which will help you better understand this example with some income values. Navigate to the Income tab and locate the Profile tab. You will need to answer yes to the question, did you work in 2023? Check mark the box for T4, then click next. Enter $45,800 in box 14 and $3,200 for tax deducted in box 22. Complete the rest of the T4 as shown in the video. As you can see, this person owes $2,917.84. Now, we will report TL2 expenses. Let's go to the Deduction tab, and under the Deduction profile, click on Work-Related Expenses. Click Next, and you will land on the Employment Expenses profile. Here, answer the question, Are you a transport employee? This will open the TL2 meal and lodging expenses form on the next page. On click next we will be on TL2 form, for this example, we will choose the detailed method, where instead of using the flat rate, you will report exactly what you spent. Since Robert is a long haul driver, answer yes to the question asking if he is a long haul truck driver. Next, we will enter the details for trip 1. For the number of days, enter 5, the number of trips as 1, and for average number of hours per trip, enter 14. Now next we have some new terms the home terminal and away from home terminal. Home terminal, the location where a truck driver reports for work. This is typically the base of operations for the trucking company or the place where the driver keeps their vehicle when not on the road. Examples could be a trucking company yard, a warehouse, or an office assigned to the driver. For independent drivers, 
This could be their home address if they operate as owner-operators. Away from home terminal, this refers to any location where the driver is working that is not their home terminal. It can include various stops or destinations during the course of their routes. For instance, if a driver leaves their home terminal in Toronto to make a delivery in Calgary, Calgary would be considered away from the home terminal. Similarly, any stop made along the way, such as fuel stops or rest areas, would also be classified as away from home terminal. We will skip these two for this scenario. Now, as the first trip was made from Ontario to Alberta, we will answer, no, to the question, were these meals purchased in the U.S.? For the number of meals, enter 15 at a cost of $345, and for the number of nights for lodging, enter 12 at a cost of $600. That's it for completing trip 1. Next, we will click on the plus tab to add another trip. Please complete the details for trip 2 as shown in the video, noting that this trip was from Toronto, Ontario, to New York City, USA. In this case, we will answer, yes, to the question, were these meals purchased in the US? If you scroll down, you will see a question about whether you have received any repayment from your employer that will be subtracted from your eligible expenses claim. Now, let's assume our scenario is completed. Click on Review and File, then click on Record Keeping. Scroll down to the Claim for Meals and Lodging Expenses form. Here, your entries are reported in Part 2B. At line 8528, you will see the total of meal expenses paid. For long-haul drivers, you can claim 80% of that, which amounts to $496.80. Next, at line 9200, you can see your total lodging expenses claim of $1,207.37. So, your total meal and lodging expenses deduction comes to $1,704.17, which you can see on line 22900 for other employment expenses on your T1 General. Now, let's move to our next scenario. Let's take the case of Mark, a short-haul truck driver for Quick Freight Limited, who typically makes daily deliveries and returns home at night. His trips last more than 12 hours, which allows him to claim meal expenses under the simplified method, but he doesn't incur lodging or shower expenses since he returns home the same day. Trip Example Trip Date May 15, 2023 Route Toronto, Ontario to Montreal, Quebec and back in one day duration, 14 hours, morning to evening, employer, Quick Freight LTD. Mark's typical workday involves leaving early in the morning and returning home the same evening. However, since he was on the road for more than 12 hours, he is eligible to claim meal expenses Mark can claim. Three meals times $23 equals $69 in total meal expenses. He'll enter three meals into the form for this trip. Since Mark is a short-haul driver who returns home each night, he doesn't have any lodging expenses, so this section will be left blank. Let's go back to our same tax return and choose the simplified method. We will answer, yes, to the question, are you a short-haul driver? Let's say Mark made several similar trips throughout the year. For example, he had 40 days during the year where he worked trips over 12 hours but returned home the same day. His TL2 form will reflect this cumulative number. Let's complete our trip details as shown on the screen. Assuming our tax return is completed, we will navigate to review and file, download the record keeping, and scroll down to the Claim for Meals and Lodging Expenses form. Here, you will see your trip details and expenses reported in Part 2A, Trip and Expense Summary, which does not include eligible travel periods of long-haul truck drivers. We have a total of $2,760, and if you scroll down, you will see it at line 8523. Since we are claiming this for a short-haul driver, 
we can only claim 50% of the meal expenses. So, we can see $1,380 of deduction for other employment expenses on our T1 General, line 22900. And that wraps up our overview of claiming meal and lodging expenses for both long-haul and short-haul truck drivers.